nice afternoon here in the, outside of Bormio with two rather fast ladies, Daria Domracheva and Marie Laura Brunet, bringing two teams together. Both of you are having training camps here. Give me your impressions of what Bormio has been like and what the training's like here. Yeah, maybe I will start because uh, we are here longer mm -hmm. time than um, Marie Laura and French team. And maybe uh, we can give also some advice because we discovered this area quite good. And I'm really impressed with this place and I'm really impressed with this nature around and about all possibilities what you can do for your trainings here. You can combine a lot of different things and uh, biking together, for example, we made a few of the trainings. Um, we went by bike, yeah, about one and a half hour, and then we ran up to this um, uphill. I, I think you was there yesterday also. Yeah. Close to these two towers. Just morning we... Yeah, yeah. by ski roll. And this cool combination is also... Yeah, you saw it already. <laughs> <laughs> right, yesterday. Uh, yeah, I am agree uh, with Zaya because uh, it's a very beautiful place and uh, I really want to uh, see this, this waterfall. Yeah. <laughs> so, but if I go, I uh, send you a photo. <laughs> yeah, please. <laughs> Is it nice being someplace different for training? Because normally you go to the same training camps every year. Yeah, it's really nice, and I think it's really important to to change to uh, discover new places because. Uh, uh, it brings some uh, fresh and uh, I think it's good for motivation. Mm -hmm. It's true, I agree. And uh, it's good also, I think, for yeah, for my, uh, your minds here is um, different relief, different nature around and you're not tired and tired uh, in mind. Yeah, in head. during uh, your training you can uh, contemplate and uh, yeah. see the nature. And also, I think what is important for this changing the training place is different food. <laughs> it's true, because when you are a long time in one place, you are tired from uh, one food for, for Yeah, you one. know exactly what do you yeah. eat. Ate. What you ate a few days ago, you will take the same. And for example, now we are in Italy, it's fantastic food here, and pasta, La pasta pizza. Pasta de la mama. Sí. <laughs> So, would you have any questions for each other? Mm -hmm. um, yeah, my first question for Daya is uh, to um, to know uh, what do you do uh, during your rest time to uh, move on, uh, go far, be far away by by a ton, No. Mm -hmm. uh, you mean something for a rest, something different from a trainings? Uh, yeah, f uh, for example, between training camps, I said to you before that we have quite long training camps, it's 18 days, and uh, we have quite short time for separate preparation. Yeah, but uh, from other side, uh, from a training, what is my best um, way for relaxation is dancing, I think. Really? It's, uh, yeah, possible, it's not necessary to go to some club, it's also possible uh, to dance at home, switch on the music, okay. uh, music on loudly. And <laughs> okay, you, you can, uh, we can do it uh, together because I like to dance. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> Next time we came together, we can program yeah. one day. <laughs> Agreed. <laughs> <laughs> Which kind of music? Uh, it's different. Some uh, easy listening for good minds, for energy. Okay. Um, do you, do you like uh, David Guetta? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Perfect. <laughs> Perfect. We can go to <laughs> we can go to Ibiza. <laughs> yeah, maybe uh, next year. <laughs> okay, next spring. So, uh, yeah, spring. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, one part of our holidays. Mm -hmm. Ibiza with Daya. <laughs> Ibiza. <laughs> yeah, I have a um, few questions uh, and. It's uh, about um, the shooting program. Uh, everybody knows that you're a really good shooter and you shoot uh, fast and clean. <laughs> and uh, I have a few questions uh, about this tema. And first of them is who is most important person for you in the shooting? Who learned you some important things, most important things? And 
what he learned you? I think uh, the person, the most important of uh, my career is uh, my first tra trainer mm -hmm. uh, when I begin biathlon and uh, it's uh, Thierry Dusser, my mm -hmm. actual uh, coach. Mm -hmm. In fact, uh, when I uh, when I decided to, uh, to do biathlon, I go to the Alps at the age of uh, 15 mm -hmm. and uh, my trainer was uh, Thierry mm -hmm. and now I'm really lucky because uh, it's our trainer in the in the yeah in the team mm -hmm. yeah I think uh, we were lucky to uh, to to meet uh, Thierry but after he um, he explained uh, uh, the quantity of work uh, mm -hmm. we need to uh, to go uh, and to catch our goal mm -hmm. but uh, when we was uh, we were very young and I think the big part of uh, work was uh, when I was young. Mm -hmm. Uh, what was the main thing that uh, this coach learned you? For me, the shoot is the game. Mm -hmm. It's important to enjoy it. How, how, how was your feelings during uh, a competition the, or when you are on skiing, uh, just before the start? What's your mentally? Uh... Uh, I try to. Uh, I try. Don't think so much about uh, this race, about some competitions. I just. Mm, I don't know, before the race, I'm totally inside of me and I try to be out from all things what's happening around. Uh, but when I cross this start line, yes, I'm still in, inside of me and but, um, but then my emotions go out, I think, also. When uh, you have some uh, days without no. I feel, uh, um, yeah, I read a lot of uh, literature also about sport and I know that uh, sport give, uh, give us endorphins. It's a uh, hormone of happiness. Yeah. It's true and uh, I can feel it. It's, yeah, it's work because if uh, I'm a few days out from a trainings or from some activity, I feel how I need it. Maybe because of that I also switch on music loudly and okay. start to move. <laughs> I, you, this, you need it. Yeah. yeah. Okay. I think for you the same and for all athletes. Um, I'm not sure. <laughs> <laughs> I have a great example. After season, I break really without sport one month, mm -hmm. and it was okay. Easy. Yeah. yeah. We need uh, these um, feelings and mm -hmm. uh, uh, feel the body is uh, working. Yeah. And yeah. to feel muscles, <laughs> yeah. Because if you don't train, uh, long time, say, mm. you feel <laughs> where's my muscles? Yeah. <laughs> it's yeah. not so good feeling, so. yeah, yeah, really. <laughs> what is a trigger factor for you in the shooting? Uh, what is uh, it is mental, or it is uh, position, or it is work uh, this trigger, or what is the main and, and what you have? bigger focus um, for me my biggest focus is uh, mentally mm -hmm. I think uh, when you are you are you are in uh, you are in the World Cup mm -hmm. you know uh, a lot of uh, technical things yeah and after I think the difference uh, maybe is uh, on mentally I may refer perfect mm -hmm. <laughs> I have uh, two exemplar mm -hmm. exemplary of my rifle because I, if uh, one day uh, we have some problem with uh, the plane or the thing, I have another, the same uh, okay. cross. Okay. And it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> Until the end of my career. <laughs> <laughs> but, and um, um, for me, the, the other questions. It's, I have a picture. Mm -hmm. <laughs> right. It's uh, about two great athletes. They inspired a lot, a lot me. So <laughs> it's uh, two pictures about uh, Ole Einar and uh, Rafael Poi, because uh, for me it's uh, the biggest athlete, mm -hmm. and they uh, inspire a lot of uh, things for me. And I, I want to ask you what inspire inspire you this uh, this guy. Yeah, for sure, uh, these two guys, um, I think um, they are 
inspiration for many people, so not uh, only in sport, uh, because uh, they did so much in uh, their sport career. Uh, but this sport um, success, I think, uh, is bring a good example for all other people, uh, not only from sports, from some different kind, kinds of job or of life in a life also, because. Um, yeah, for this example, you can see uh, how they work from childhood and how big uh, goal they uh, built up for themselves and how they went to this goal step by step. And um, they're a really good example uh, how the dreams could come true. And for you? Uh, for me, um, I, uh, I uh, practice uh, cross country skiing. Mm -hmm. uh, Really, for my young age, mm -hmm. but uh, one time during uh, Salt Lake City, I discovered biathlon, and I saw Rafael Poirier and mm -hmm. said, "Okay, I want <laughs> biathlon. <laughs> I want the same guy." <laughs> yeah. And, and uh, the year after, I decided to uh, to go to a school sport mm -hmm. to begin biathlon, and it was the, the story. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's uh, really funny because uh, after I discovered more the battle, mm -hmm. work battle with uh, Oleina, mm -hmm. uh, Liv, mm -hmm. Kati Willem, Sandrine Bailly, yeah. all these first people uh, who inspired me. And uh, yeah, of course, I think uh, for me it's uh, really important to uh, to have some uh, discussion with mm -hmm. uh, Raphael because. Uh, it's easy for me. We are we speak the same language, same language yeah. so we can understand mm -hmm. uh, even the words, and um, it brings me a, a lot of uh, good tips. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's important to uh, when I have a question, question or a doubt, mm -hmm. I I know I can uh, call call him and say, okay, Raf, what do you think about mm -hmm. this? Or mm -hmm. I think, uh, yeah, for me these two guys are really incredible because. Even during them career, mm -hmm. always it was always a fight, and uh, yeah, it, yeah, that's fun. It was magical. When you two ladies retire, would you hope to be that type of a role model for future biathletes, like Poliana or Rafael? Mm, I think it's good to inspire some young uh, children in some in some way. And not, yeah, what I said, uh, it could be not only in sport, uh, also athletes' career, uh, I think, inspire many different people for their own goals, how they could, uh, how they could achieve it, go for it. Yeah, I, I, I think um, when uh, you decide to be uh, an athlete, it's just uh, to be the best. But after you create some uh, some things around you, and uh, if you can uh, help some people, yeah, mm -hmm. a younger sport uh, athlete, but even people uh, in uh, the universe, mm -hmm. it's uh, pretty good. After, it's not a choice, but uh, if if we can do that, it's, uh, it's nice. <laughs> it's nice, really nice. <laughs> okay. Sure. <laughs>